Oh, really, Pisai? We'll come for you. That is a promise. One more month. Do not get lucky. Good, they didn't get lucky. to get over there. No. Straight back down here. All three of you. Got to get back to Pegu. We'll only get 13 more from ticking. Okay. We need to get other people out of the war. Let's go work on Malacca, I guess. We'll let this guy take care of that. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Guess we'll order a breach. I don't like waiting. That's all it is. Diplomatic relations plus one. No one's got time for that. So they got particular risks. Do you do you. We'll take our fort back. Local missionary strength. That's not good. Could should have waited on that. Oh, we got another colonist. Wait, we do have sieged colonies. Let's wait. Get lucky. Didn't get lucky. Come on. Take the fort. Lucky. Nope. It's, it's taken forever. But we should get it after this. Should. Really? Really. Okay, you guys. Nope. 
We're coming for you. Think is done. Let's go get Banjar. The forts are what matters. Or what matter, not matters. Let's see. The 18th or the 1st? Odd. Need to do the 28th. 30th. Let's see. Second. That's what we want. So we don't take the attrition for one month. The eighth, okay. Yeah. We should be able to win this. The only issue is their generals are better than mine. But our troops are just so much better than theirs. All right, where's the fort? It's a fort here? Wait, what? So how'd they get over here? Who do you give access to? No one. Wait, you do. Hmm. Let's get... Military access. Oh, they got separatists. <laughs> what will you do? You're not quite close yet. Good manpower. We're wasting ours. <laughs> Mostly my fault. Okay, it's exclusively my fault. Come on, Malaka. She goes peace. Maybe we should go here. Oh, there's a fort. Right now, Malacca. Nope. Went. Oof. It's because they built their strength back up. That's why. What is over here? Nope. Here could be four. If that fort falls, ugh. Because those are capital, right? Maybe we should get out now. Well, we can. They won't do this, obviously. But maybe we don't need them to. Alright, fine. What can we get? We can't get away with this. Or this. Nope. They would do 53. Would we be able to take that? No. Hmm. Fine. So they would take 59. Got it. Oof. The amount of losses, though. Well, we got a train company that's expanding quicker than ever. Expand overseas. We have done all of the English missions. Bam. What else could we get? And we can form our new nation. Let's take care of this guy first. 
I don't realize we're wasting sailors. You. Back over here. Then same with you. Let's quarter these things. I want to what attack cost be. 600. It's 131 left. I want to take the core all this. A lot. Hmm. It would be cheaper. Let's make it cheaper. I'd rather it be cheaper. Yeah, that's a big deal. I don't get actually get everything that we're able to. Alright. So, 28th and the 1st. So, what, one day? The 1st. Let's see how the battle unfolds. Maybe we got all our people in. Here goes cannons. That was easy. You know, now, we got three armies over here. I'm going to, shit, we should upgrade. That was split in half, though. We'll have two armies. Two so armies, two navies. And over here, well, it's currently three armies. We'll get that to four. Shortly, but I think it's time we start switching over to mercenaries for most of our army because attrition is basically going to happen in this area. So at least this area should be using mercenaries. Oh, yeah, but it's time to form our new nation. You ready? All right, and we're not forming Great Britain. I changed the flag and the name to recognize that we have France as our main thing besides England, rather than the rest of the UK. So let's form it. New traditions and ambitions. We are now the Angevin Union. And yeah, you could say that the English flag already represents the Angevin Union, but I didn't want to keep the same flag, and I wanted a new name. So this flag is the flag that uh, I believe is used in Vertas at Fortitudo mod. And I think it looks pretty good. Do we want new traditions and ambitions? I mean, what do we get? The infantry combat ability is decent. Let's see. Trade. More fire. And the Bill of Rights. Let's get something new though. Unless they don't change. Now, British ideas. Alright. Oh, yeah. Our uh, heavy ship company really went up. We get an evil tradition. Cheaper diplomatically annex. And we get more states. It's global settler increase. That's good. 
Is it tech cost? That's useful. Discipline's really nice. More goods produced. And naval maneuver. Uh, let's see. Does that benefit our economy any? Doesn't look like it that much. Oh well. So yeah, our Navy's heading home. I'm going to switch out these three armies to use mercenary infantry. Alright. You do your thing. And let's get prepared. What is the last thing? The Enlightenment 1700. So. Paris is most likely. But it is not connected to our capital in London. Well, what increases it? A university and a good ruler. Seat in Parliament or more than 30 development. Okay, well, we only got exactly 30. Just in case. You got more than 30 development now. And. University. That universities would be really helpful everywhere. You already got one there. We need a bunch in England. Don't have this considered within England. But let's get a bunch of universities. 